Mark Tan switched to an electric vehicle in November and with rising petrol prices, he hasn't looked back. I have spent probably, you know, $10, $15 in sort of uh, electricity costs um, and I've driven 3,000 kilometres. But like many EV owners, charging at home is an issue. I can charge it with a, a normal extension cord and that will take me, you know, roughly two days to go from zero to 100. He plugs in at his local shopping centre instead, but Mark's options are changing. He's among 200 people to sign up to a smart charger trial. If you can imagine a normal charger, a customer gets home, plugs it in and their EV, you know, charges up immediately. With the use of the smart chargers, we can shift that charging to a later period of the day when there's less pressure on the grid. It's grid aware, it can anticipate and, and understand how the grid is performing, when energy is cheap, for example, when solar and wind is available, because you'd ideally love to charge your electric vehicle of solar and wind. Electric vehicle uptake is still low in Australia compared with many other developed nations, but that gives the industry a window to anticipate what will happen to the grid once more drivers start plugging in their cars. Networks are among those conducting trials too. The electricity networks are really trying to get ourselves ready to be able to manage the additional load that's coming with electric vehicles and ensure that we can do that in a way that doesn't lead to large amounts of electrical investment in new infrastructure, which ultimately would lead to additional costs for customers. Initial results from the trial are expected later this year. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.